girl it's been a minute what's up what's up what's up girl what's good what's popping i miss you guys so much as you guys can tell by the title today we are doing a fun summer makeup routine honestly i wasn't going to do like a sit down talk to you guys because the place is hot and i need a fan so if you hear any noise in the background then it's my fan but honestly i miss you so much i didn't want to just give you guys a voiceover because i give it i think i gave you guys a voiceover in my last video that i just posted with this hair if you want to know how to achieve it go ahead and check it out i love it but i miss talking to you guys because i mean of course we i talk to you guys in the vlog but it's really been a minute so everything is it's meant to be fun you know it's summer and i really wanted to give you guys that I don't really have a particular look in mind. All I know, it's gonna be no foundation. The skincare and the base is already done. When I say base, I mean skincare, cause that's the first layer, to be honest. Like, you wanna make sure see your skin look nice and glowy. And as you can see, I'm shining, 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 yeah. Shining, yeah. Right away. JPS, we need answers, you know. Girl, that was the electricity. JPS is playing with me right now. I'm gonna go in with a primer so it will make you not be too glowy but not too matte. Well, maybe the whole face for some people. Me, I'm using it on my whole face. I'm personally, I'm a dry girl. And that's why I overly hydrated today because I don't wanna be super dry in the summer. Because we're cutting out foundation, I am gonna do a technique that I do when I don't have time to do makeup. I moisturize my face and I do face powder. You know the regular face powder. So we're gonna use some face powder on this base on top of our primer. So we're gonna do some on the chin, here. And this will give your foundation like a nice base and stuff to stick onto. And you don't want to do too much either because we don't want our base to be super matte. <laughs> I like to add it in this area too because typically I really don't get any product here um, when I'm not doing like foundation. So I think, you know, it's really good to put it in these areas. I'm gonna move on to contouring the face. I'm using this angled brush. For the majority of my face, I genuinely do not use certain products. For example, my blush. My blush is a... This palette is my blush. The Take Me Back to the Brazil palette, that's what... Take Me Back to the Brazil. Take Me Back to Brazil, that's a palette I use for my blush. I also use a another eyeshadow palette for my contour. And it works wonderful my makeup always comes out beat so now i'm gonna apply concealer on the face so i what i recommend when you're doing no makeup makeup looks or for the summer you don't want to go too bright right away you want to build up if you want a bright under eye and remember we're using minimal products i'm gonna use my la broken pro concealer i have a bunch of these but the shade that i'm using right now first is fawn fawn is a very popular color um, I'm using fawn because of the yellow undertone that it gives. Boom. I'm also going to put some over the mouth on the nose and I'm going to brighten my forehead as well. I'm also going to do some under here. I'm using my beauty blender today. Normally I'd make this sit but I'm going to go right away because I don't want it to set too long. I don't want it to be too dry when I'm blending it out. I want everything to be super smooth. So I'm going to blend out these parts first. Uh, something is happening. My face is tripping, so it's showing. Okay, so I wiped it off with some alcohol and redid it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend in the concealer. I always, 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 it don't matter what kind of look I'm doing, start from the edges of the eye. Look at that. Do you see the coverage? Perfect. For some people, this might be too much. For me, no. Overall, I feel like LA Girl makes really, 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 really good coverage concealers. They are better, of course, but if you know how to use it, they have really, 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 really nice coverage um, concealers. Make sure that you do in between the nose. You don't want to go out and all your makeup is caked up right here. 
it is not a cute look i'm not gonna tell no lie it don't cute and if me see in a public like that and me know you make a tell it's a girl fix it <laughs> if you want to stop it right here you can i feel like it can really stop right here but i'm gonna be a little extra with it and i'm gonna add some more concealer i am using the maybelline new york concealer in the shade 28 i'm going to rise at the eye so honestly i'm gonna do dots because this the coverage on this is sick whilst i blend i'm gonna use the back of my hand to remove the excess that's on it and i'm gonna continue to blend i'm gonna blend this as well at the same time both of them at the same time to be honest and i want to focus it in this section so you see how right here is bright and then we go in that's kind of what i want so i'm focusing the brightness in that section immediately after here's the trick you're gonna use your powder and you're gonna set the face right don't go too high then immediately after you're gonna go in with your setting powder if you follow me for a long time then baby you know i don't use regular setting powder i use baby powder well since i have switched from baby powder because i don't need to i know a lot of people that use baby powder as well and it works wonders for them and for me girl i'm gonna sit beside him so we're gonna use some um baby powder under the eye or your setting powder it doesn't matter and we're gonna go boom as you can see that is very bright okay that is compared to this amazing that's what baby butter can do for you so baby if you don't have the money or if you don't have any on hand right now get you some baby powder and set that eye you're gonna thank me go under the other eye now and we're gonna just set the face you see me can you tell we don't have foundation on you can't tell but when you come close you see that it's like skin it's like butter okay you're gonna set your nose as well and then a little bit of powder on the forehead just a little not too much you're gonna also do these areas for this makeup, you're not gonna bake, none at all. There's no baking in this. So, for contour, we're using a cool tone contour. Remember I told you guys, I also don't have a contour palette. So I'm using eyeshadow. A lot of these shades have hit pan. And as you can see, baby, she's hanging on for dear life, but ain't, ain't no giving up on her. We're gonna ignore that for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do a warm so i like a cool tone um shade for eyeshadow the cooler tone one are down here to be honest but i'm gonna use this one right here and i'm gonna start from this right here so you're gonna start from here what this will do if you watch jackie this will create the illusion of a natural contour because it's coming right in from the bridge of your nose okay, boom Ooh. I suggest if you're contouring your face, start off with a cool tone. There's nothing wrong with a warm tone con um, contour. I love me a good warm tone contour, but start off with a cool tone because it m looks more like a shadow than just slapped on foundation or slapped on makeup. You know what I mean? Then we're going to go down the bridge of the nose. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for this side. And then I'm gonna make that go over, kind of like in my, on the lid, sort of, but except it's in this area. I'm gonna use the brush that I had the powder on and I'm gonna just blend it out to make it a little bit softer. Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my days. So this is kind of tool to show you that you don't need to have the fanciest makeup kit or makeup bag to be able to look fancy you know what i mean i'm gonna also add that to the forehead we want to look super bronze up here love it we are now gonna add some blush i forgot to add my cream blush i am gonna add some lipstick since i can't do cream blush so i am gonna add it to the back of my hand this much then i'm going to just take my finger and apply it to my skin so this is gonna be our blush. I am gonna use a flat brush. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna add some blush. I'm gonna do pink today just because I wanna be very bright, vibrant. Now, I feel like orange, as you can see, I use it a lot for blush right here. Um, can can you guys check? But yeah, I do use orange uh, quite a lot. Um, but today I don't feel like orange, I feel like pink girl. Same place where we added the last one. That's a lot, that's a whole lot, oh my God. And then we're gonna go in. Oh my. I also like to go on the nose. I wanna bring this up a little bit close under the eye. This is a technique that is used to create the baby doll look or the blush, very blushed look under the eyes, right? We're gonna use the brush that we use for a powder again to blend this all out and make it look super seamless and less harsh because it does look really harsh. But as you can see, it's already lining up. It's already like, you know, coming together. I'm gonna add some of the pink on my lips. I'm also gonna add some on the forehead. This gives you a sun-kissed look. I love it. Okay, so for our eyes, we're not doing anything too crazy. It's been a while since I've done eyeshadow overall, because it's been a while. I've, on, I've only been doing, you know, natural makeup looks. So remember we added the brown over the eyes. It was very subtle. Right now, I'm going to use this powder to add some orange in the crease. I don't want it to be too pigmented, so I'm trying to take my time and use a light hand when I'm picking up the product and I'm just gonna blend that in the crease and I'm bringing that out too and I don't want to keep it right here I want to bring it out a bit I'm now adding a gold shadow on the lid this one right here do you see that to make it super bright and I'm also gonna bring it right here so not too far up but like just a tad bit in our corner. But look at the difference that that makes. It literally opens up my eyes differently. I don't know, something about it. Now I'm going to use a dark shade, like a black, on my tight line. And I'm gonna stop it right here. I wanna add orange underneath. Everything is just so gorgeous on camera and off camera girl didn't you see that I wasn't doing my brows I'm gonna do my brows now so I'm gonna just brush my brows up honestly for my brows um, I don't want to do too much I'm gonna use a random eyebrow pencil that we got from the drugstore my mom gave this to me and I'm gonna just fill this in fill my brow in slightly okay so boom gonna use a little bit of fawn to clean that brow up because I don't want the product to go all over my eyes I am gonna use my finger to blend it out so I'm just gonna drag my finger across And to finish off the look, we did the most important step of the whole routine. I did my lips. I just lined it with some brown liner and then I added a pink lipstick and some gloss and I felt like an absolute barb. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Ooh. 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 Damn. One of the Barbies is bad. It girls. And we ain't playing tag.